This video will discuss aromaticity using the concept of Huckel theory and pi bonding. All right, so our example here is going to be the benzene molecule, C6H6, six sp2 hybridized carbon atoms in a hexagonal circle all in one molecular plane. We have a pz orbital from each atom, which is perpendicular to the plane of the molecule, and six total electrons, one from each carbon, that is going to be participating in this pi system, which is orthogonal to the rest of the molecule. Okay, so the first thing to do in Huckel theory when we seek to solve for the energies of our orbitals is to build our secular determinant from the linear variational method. So we have down the diagonal alpha, where H11, H22, H33, 44, 55, 66, all those values are the energy of an isolated pz orbital, the alpha. Then you have the minus e going down the diagonal as well. Then we need to include all the coupling elements, all the overlap between adjacent uh, pz orbitals between 1 and 2, so beta in 1, 2, and 2, 1, 2, 3, and 3, 2, 3, 4, and 4, 3, all the way down the diagonal. And then the only extra thing that we have relative to the cases we've studied thus far is that 6 is also adjacent to 1. So H16 and H61 are also beta, and then the rest are all non-adjacent, so all of those values are going to be 0. So in each row, we have two betas, uh, one alpha minus E, and three zeros. So at this point, it becomes very difficult to solve a six-dimensional secular determinant by hand. You could do so. It would probably take you a long time. Luckily, a lot of the terms end up being zero because there are so many zeros in this determinant. But what you find if you solve it, um, probably by doing some type of uh, mathematical solver like MATLAB, Mathematica, Maple, Wolfram Alpha, etc., etc. If we define the quantity x such that x is alpha minus e over beta, x equals in this determinant plus or minus 1, plus or minus 1, and plus or minus 2. So out of our determinant, it is six-dimensional. We're taking a linear combination of six orbitals, so we get six orbitals back with six distinct energy values. Um, we get two, uh, two singly degenerate values at alpha plus two beta and alpha minus one beta, reminding ourselves that beta is about negative 75 kilojoules per mole, and two doubly degenerate orbitals at alpha plus beta and alpha minus beta for our six total orbitals. All right, so our energy is there. We have alpha, alpha plus two beta doubly occupied with two electrons alpha plus beta quadruply occupied with four electrons. And at this point, we have run out of electrons to fill using the alpha principle starting at the lowest energy going until we don't have any more electrons left. So the question is, what is the energy of this system relative to a system of purely isolated carbon-carbon uh, double bonds where uh, only betas would be observed between adjacent uh, atoms here and not those which I do not have drawn in as double bonds. So if I so this would be equivalent to turning off uh, turning this set of betas, this set of betas, and this set of betas to zero. So in that case, we would have three distinct blocks of alpha minus e beta, beta alpha minus e here, here, and here. So that would be equal to the energy of three systems of C2H4 of ethene, where we just have a single isolated double bond, or where we have one pi bond. So the energy there was 2 alpha plus 2 beta, so it has a single doubly occupied orbital with energy alpha plus beta. The energy here of our pi system in benzene is equal to 2 times alpha plus 2 beta plus 4 times alpha plus beta, doubly occupied, quadruply occupied, equals 6 alpha plus 8 beta. So the energy of aromaticity here, the extra energy benefit we get due to having this circular arrangement with all three of these double bonds conjugated to one another, is the energy of benzene minus 3 times the pi energy of ethylene. So that gives us a final answer of 6 alpha plus 8 beta minus 
uh, 6 alpha plus 6 beta, or 2 beta, which is negative 150 kilojoules per mole. So once again, Huckel theory correctly predicts that there is a strong energetic benefit to having uh, conjugated, not only conjugated, but uh, circularly conjugated uh, pi orbitals in this type of aromatic arrangement. It correctly gives the kind of energy diagram we do actually see in benzene, where we have a in our pi system a singly occupied ground state and a doubly occupied uh, bonding orbital after that, and then two unoccupied uh, doubly degenerate orbitals and a at the top a singly degenerate unoccupied orbital. So a lot of the uh, a lot of the a lot of the results that you would see in the more accurate, more quantitatively uh, detailed method, like any type of uh, ab initio or electronic structure method, a lot of those same insights we get here, which is a very crude model using the Huckel theory in uh, the linear variational method and this type of simple model for the pi bonding and the aromaticity effects in benzene.